Good day, everyone. Um, how's your how's your um, programming programming life? Uh, are you enjoying or finding it so hard in programming? <laughs> if programming for you is hard, then congratulations. You're just trying to manifest that you are indeed a human being. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, programming is uh, full of challenges. It takes a lot of analytical skills. You have to be very um, creative, initiative, uh, technicality wise, should always be high. Because, um, like I said, in programming, you'll be, you'll be, you know, trying to analyze problems and create solutions. And normally solutions uh, is being packed with uh, formulas, right? You'll be dealing with formulas or you're, you'll be creating your, your own formula to address the programming problem, okay? What I did in, in this uh, YouTube channel is I, I tried to, to post videos uh, explaining a particular programming problem. And along the way, I'll be sharing my way of analyzing things. Right? And uh, you guys, if you, if you find it useful, then please watch this video. If you find it redundant, then just share this video to your friends or whatever, right? Uh, because uh, uh, the, the way I look at it and based on my experience, these are actually videos that are useful in programming. The techniques uh, it's very um, uh, important okay so um, today I'm going to discuss uh, a very simple problem but uh, when you are you know uh, when you are to analyze it and uh, understand the logic the algorithm of this program I'm sure you can use this along the way in your programming life right so um, I am going to discuss a very simple problem and I hope uh, at the end of the day I will be able to share my know-how in programming as far as this problem is concerned. Okay, Now, the problem is we have to encode or to create a program that will try to check a value whether it is odd or even. When it is even, it is what? Divisible by 2. I mean, when you are to divide a particular number by 2 and the remainder is 0, then that, that's even number, right? And um, obviously, even numbers are actually 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on and so forth, right? All numbers which are divisible by 2. And uh, anything that uh, cannot be divided by 2 or a certain number that when we are to divide it by 2, there is a certain remainder, then that's an even. An odd number 1, 3, 5, 7, right? 9, 11, 13, 15, and so on, and uh, so forth. And so, on. so when, you are to, when we are to create a program to determine if, if that particular value is an odd or even, then I think uh, uh, we have to we, we have a, a background with the input and output statement, right? And then we have to be familiar with the rules in C variables and of course the data types because variables are actually useless variables if we don't know the data types, right? And we'll be using if else because for us to evaluate whether this particular number is an odd or even, then there should be a conditional statement, right? So these are actually the four major um, um, C, C uh, statements that we are to look right so um here i have a sample program okay um i try to declare num as an integer because i'll be asking later an integer um, value and then here input and output statement inter number then whatever whatever number that i or as a particular user will supply that number will be stored to num right and num here is what 
an integer variable. It will store integral value, right? Uh, whole numbers. And uh, person day is actually the data type, the placeholder of num. For num to accept value, we need to put what? An ampersand sign. That's, that's part of the syntax of um, scan if one of the input statements in, in C, right? So because of this uh, two lines, the, the program will ask for a value. Say, for example, uh, our value is 8. So that 8 will be stored to num, right? And then um, followed by condition is num, right? Which is 8 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Meaning, if we are to divide, right, num by 2 is the remainder 0. Because if the result is yes or true, then that's an even number. Okay? So, look at this. Um, if the condition is true, then print what? Numbers even. If this condition is false, meaning num is not divisible by 2, meaning the remainder is not 0, but any anything, any, any value, 1, and so on and so forth, then that's an, an add now in this particular in this particular um, example, if for example our num is eight, um, eight divided by two is how much? That's four, and the remainder is zero. So meaning this condition is true because the remainder here is zero, right? So since true, then display number is even. Okay. Assuming um, num is um, 7, for example, num is equal to 7, uh, question is your, your 7, right, divisible by 2? If yes, then perform print num is even, but if not, then, I mean, if, it, if, it, if it's not 0, then, right? So 7 divided by 0 is, uh, 2 is 3 point something. I uh, will try to use my calculator um, in here 7 divided by 2 that's 3.5 right so meaning this condition is false because for this one to become true this must be 0 3.0 or 3 right so since 5 the condition is false do not perform this one c2 else portion and display num is an so the result of this condition is an odd number, right? So a very simple problem, but I'd love to share the, the, the algorithm, the, the logic of this program, because um, I'm sure um, the end of the day in your programming journey, you'll be needing this one someday. Right? So uh, I would like to suggest understand the, understand the, the problem, understand the, the attitude of modulus, this person sign, because this percent sign or this modulo will return the remainder value of a particular number. Okay? It will return a remainder value. And in that way, you can use this, that as an instrument to, to, to determine whether a particular number is an even or an odd number. Okay? Now, we'll try to execute the program. I have a, it is actually a copy and paste program of my, of my discussion in Notepad here. Okay? So uh, when we are to click run button or command, then the program will ask for a value. Say for example, we'll supply 8. That 8, when we press enter key, will be stored to num. And then num modulus 10, if it returns 0, meaning if the remainder is 0, number is 7. If not, number is up. Okay? So we'll try pressing enter key. Number is even. Why? 8 divided by 2 is 4. Remainder is 0. So meaning the, the condition is true, then perform print number is even. I will try to run it again. Um say for example seven. Present their key number is num is number is add. Why? Because seven modulus two will return five. And five is not equal to zero. So meaning this condition is false. So print number is add. Right? So another example. Let's say, for example, um, 90. When you press enter key, 90 is an even number. Okay? 
So, a very simple program, but then uh, you have to understand that. 67, for example, you present the gay, nam is an email, it's an Adam. Okay? So, um, I, I, I hope I was, I was able to, to share an important program today, though it's, it's very simple, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you can use these techniques in your programming um, journey, okay? Now, I, I, if you find this YouTube channel important to you and to your friends, to your relatives, please share this YouTube channel. I will be posting so many videos about C programming language, right? And after all the topics that I, I will be discussing in here, um, I'll be shifting to Java, C Sharp, and any other programming languages. I will be making this YouTube channel of mine as an instructional YouTube channel for the people who are very intentional in programming, okay? So thank you so much for now. God bless you. God is good all the time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.